Hi everyone, so this video is going to be a little mini painting and I made this for my dad. I make him um, whenever it's like Christmas or Father's Day or his birthday or something, sometimes I'll make him a tiny painting and um, they're just like based off of uh, one of them was a bridge, one of them was a bumblebee and this one is a flounder because he really likes flounders. And it's kind of like a draw with me so I'll be talking and sketching and painting at the same time. So I hope you'll enjoy that and on to the video. This notebook to kind of plan it out a little bit. I'm not quite sure what I want it to be. I might do a frog. I usually make them a square but I think this time it's not a square. Let's get the frame. So this is the frame. It's from Michaels. An overpriced frame from Michaels. So it's actually this ratio. Might be cool to do a landscape. Yeah I think a landscape would be cool. Maybe a fish. A fish might be neat. Let's put his landscape. And what if it was just a fish coming into the frame like this sort of thing? That's not a- that's not what a fish looks like. It'd be cool if there was like a couple of fish. Yeah, something like this could be neat. I want to do it, um, like very flowy watercolor because he likes watercolor a lot. He likes the, uh, the fluidity, I guess, of it and just like seeing the process, so Thought it'd be cool to film this. I love drawing these mini things because I don't take like tons of time, but it's really cool to just have like a tiny little piece of art. I'm really liking this new desk color. The other one um, was more of like a purpley brown and it kind of made my footage, to my personal taste, it made my footage kind of muddy looking a little and a little bit too dark and I like how this allows color to kind of pop off of it and it doesn't just like bring all the colors down to like this dark purpley oversaturated brown but it probably it, it looks fine it looked fine but I, I prefer this I think this one's kind of nicer this composition it's always good to do a lot of like really um quick thumbnails to get a sense of how the space will be used up and they don't need to have any time put into them it's just seeing what it will look like and what the composition will be like that one's kind of interesting actually like seeing the underneath of the fish and then like sunlight coming from above, that could be actually kind of cool. And maybe there could be like a little turtle too, like a sea turtle. I should probably look at a reference, but it's fine. <laughs> I'll do that later. I don't know what sea turtles look like, so I'm just gonna... <laughs> I kind of just want to do fish, I don't know. Oh my gosh, I know there's like a <laughs> specific way their fins look, but I just can't figure it out without a reference. I feel like this composition worked the best, um, this one. I just don't think that the turtle quite works with it. Um, maybe adding some plants to it could work. So like the fish is here. No, not that angle. Like that sort of thing. No, 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 no. Then there's also some like plants sort of like underneath the... Have the fish be like very like line art heavy. What if it wasn't like a generic fish but it was more of like a some kind of a stingray or like a, maybe a flounder. Okay, here's some pictures of flounders because I know he also likes flounders, but they're kind of <laughs> scary to look at. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this would be a view from above. What a strange fish. I think it'd be cool to do one that's kind of like neon blue, sort of like that one. I don't know if I can get this to work because it's <laughs> so funny. Okay. Why am I on inc incognito mode? I didn't mean to do that. Oh my gosh, they're so weird. I've just been trying to figure out um, colors and just like how I'm gonna go about this just really roughly and this paper is horrible. I found this um, 
deep in my desk and I'm not going to use this paper, but I'm gonna, I took a picture of this sketch and I'm going to just play with the colors digitally. Also, uh, quickly wanted to say that this video is sponsored by Skillshare. You've heard of Skillshare before, probably by now. Um, they sponsor a lot of art channels and I'm really grateful for their continued support because it helps me out a lot. Skillshare is an online learning community for creators. There's more than 25,000 classes in illustration, animation, and more. The premium membership gives you unlimited access to all the classes so you can join in on the classes and learn the skills that you want to learn and maybe achieve your new year's goals. If you want to start learning something new in 2019, then Skillshare is a perfect place to find classes. And I found one that is actually kind of inspired me a lot called Gouache Illustration Paint a Whimsical Colorful Character by Vanessa Gillings. She has an Instagram account. I would highly recommend you go follow her. I just found it through this video and it's like a really interesting technical approach to gouache. Skillshare is very affordable. The annual subscription is less than $10 a month. If you want to join the 7 million creators who are currently using Skillshare, um, I have a link in my description for the first 500 people and those people will get a two month free trial with the link. So thanks to Skillshare share for sponsoring this video and on to the rest of it. Something like this. Just going to base it off of this little color study. I'm gonna get started on the final tiny drawing. I'm gonna keep this as a reference in front of me. I'm gonna use this paper because it's hot press. And the smaller something is, the more you notice the grain on the paper. So that's why I wanna use smooth paper. So I want this size so that it can go in. So this is how big the actual insert paper will be, but the actual size that will be displayed is a bit smaller. It's smaller by like like an eighth of an inch or so. So I'll just do I'll use a really tiny border. I just wanted to jump in with a small voiceover because there's a huge part of this where I didn't talk at all. Um because I just didn't. I think I was listening to a podcast so I wasn't really talking. Um but this is a mix between watercolor and gouache. And I find these two uh, mediums work really well together because you can kind of use them, like you could use white gouache with watercolor and use the watercolor as um, ways to like tint the white gouache and those could be your colors and the white gouache is like the paint itself. Um, you can really use them interchangeably because they're just so similar. The only thing with gouache is that um, it can be used opaque and watercolor isn't really meant for that. I like doing these small little paintings because it's kind of a, a fast way to make a cool little thing because making small things isn't as big of a time investment because it just physically takes less time to put paint strokes down that are smaller. But the planning and, and the color planning, the value studies and, and the sketching and all that stuff still takes the same amount of time. But the actual execution, execution, the actual like um, painting of the piece takes shorter. Everything else is the same time, but this, um, the actual piece takes a lot shorter. I have a few other, or is it just one? I think I might just have one other video where I do a tiny painting. I'll link it above if you want to see it. It is fairly old. It's just something I do for my dad. He likes to collect these little paintings and I like to make them and it's fun to think of different, different subjects because there's a lot of like nature-y things that he likes and I like to paint nature so it's always fun. And I actually did this around Christmas. Um, I was going to include it in a studio vlog and I didn't film anything else. So I'm like, okay, I guess I'll just use this for a normal video. So I wanted to show you this tiny little painting because it was a lot of fun. I think probably most likely the majority of this video will have been the planning um, because it just kind of shows just how long planning takes me compared to painting. Well, actually, the painting did take longer, but not as long as you'd think. 
and I actually managed to talk through the planning because um, some people find that interesting and I actually really really love hearing artists talk through their process and how they come up with things and what they see as bad and what they see as good to move forward with. I just think it's really interesting. Looks like this is pretty much done now so I'm going to take the tape off and put it in the frame and that's it. I might touch it up a little bit later but it's finally done. Took longer than I expected, um, considering how small it is. It's a little, a little flounder type fish. It might not look exactly like how uh, they look, but I just kind of like interpreted it how I wanted. So thanks so much for watching this video. I hope 2019 has treated you well so far, um, and I'll see you in my next video.